we're all going to have those dark times. We're all going to have those things from our past that could hold us back if we allow them to. But if that's all we focus on, like anger, frustration, darkness, guilt, doubt, all that, it gets us nowhere. But what you have to focus is the lessons that you've learned. And more importantly, what are you going to do going forward? Now, believing in yourself is simply an attitude. Believing in yourself is a choice. You have to choose to believe that you can do anything you set your mind to. Anything at all. When you have something you want to do, if you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. It's an interesting thing about life I've also found that if you don't have the courage to act, sometimes and particularly if you have something special to do, life will move on you. What we have to understand about developing ourselves and getting better is that it doesn't take brilliance and it doesn't take a lot of time and it doesn't even take a lot of effort, but it must be intentional. The fact that you don't get better automatically, you only get better because you intentionally make a decision to get better. You have to go from being a person of good intentions to a person of good actions. That's the great separation. When you're working on something you want to achieve, you have got to stand up to that voice. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You've got to sell yourself every day, every day, every day. According to your level of belief, it will manifest itself in what you're doing. Whatever we have right now, whatever we're demonstrating in our lives, is a result of what we believe subconsciously that we deserve. And part of increasing that belief level is that you have got to convince yourself every day. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. You can be successful if other people don't believe in you. You can overcome those odds in that opposition. But if you don't believe in yourself, no way. You just, you just aren't going to make it. The reason this is so important is that on the other side of personal belief are opportunities and possibilities. And you have to go through the belief door to find those possibilities, to find those opportunities. That if you believe in yourself, it'll take you a lot further than if you don't believe in yourself. If Bill Gates, who was a college dropout, could become a multi-billionaire, and Stephen J. Cannell, who was a dyslexic student who failed three grades in school, can become a best-selling author and a television producer, then you too can accomplish anything if you'll simply believe it's possible. If you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. That living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. It's hard. That living alone is just very difficult. And once we begin to come to grips with the fact that living is difficult, always something, you will never ever have a problem-free moment in life. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. Many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. We spread ourselves too thin, don't know how to say no, and we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind in your dreams and your bills.
So decide that you're going to take some time to work on you, that you deserve that from yourself, that your life deserves some prime time because you are creating your own production. As Michael Todd would say, you are the star of your show. You are the director. You're writing the script and you will determine whether your life is a smash office hit or flop. You determine that working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. If you're going to be successful in creating the life of your dreams, you have to believe that you are capable of making it happen. You have to believe that you have the right stuff and that you're able to pull it off. Now, whether you call it self-esteem, self-confidence or self-assurance, it's a deep seated belief that you have what it takes, the abilities, the inner resources, the talents and the skills to create your desired results. You've got to believe in the community and you've got to believe in the possibilities. You've got to believe in the economy. You've got to believe that tomorrow can be better than today. But here's the big one. Believe in yourself. There isn't a skill you can't learn. There isn't a discipline you can't try. There isn't a class you couldn't take. There isn't a book you couldn't read. If it's written in some of the language, you just get it translated and read it. To develop yourself, you've got to get out of the intending world and get into the doing world. In fact, your good intentions are good intentions, but they're worthless, totally worthless. The most overrated phrase in the world is good intentions. I know all kinds of people, they have good intentions, but they never do good because they didn't act upon what they knew. So if you want to develop yourself and you want to get better, just act on what you've already expressed that you want to do. Become a person of action today.